My name is Pindile Sibia. I am 29 years old, soon to be 30. I'm a professional nurse in Chris Heineberg, Ghana Hospital General ICU Critical Care Specialist. I chose nursing because I've always been an inquisitive person, especially when it comes to helping people. Um, also growing up in a family where I had my mom who was constantly sick, it got me to love helping people. It is a very fulfilling job, though it gets very challenging at times, but I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm very happy to be a nurse. There are those days where I feel like, oh, why? But at the end of the day, after all is said and done, I'm content with what I do. I love what I do and I am grateful to be where I am right now. Honestly, my biggest fear is taking it home to my family. Considering the fact that I live with a chronic uh, parent and I have a small child as well. But I like to believe that I'm doing the best that I can not to expose them. It's very fulfilling to know that I am able to help. I'm able to make a difference because with this whole pandemic thing going on, a lot of people are in a panic mode. A lot of people are worried and for the mere fact that even outside my line of duty, there are obviously those people who would like to know, you know, from a person who deals with this in a hospital setting, they have questions and I'd like to believe that I'm making a little bit of my difference with giving them the answers that they, they need. With this whole pandemic going on, I think it's more of people are more scared of the unknown. What I would say to South Africans right now is that we must not lose hope, we must not lose faith, we must keep on keeping on. My name is Patience Mokadi Seletela, and then I'm working at BARA as uh, infection and prevention control personnel. I choose nursing because um, I have love of the patient and then I love helping people as well. If you look at it in our country, young people, they do a whole lot of things. There's a lot of things that they're doing out there and then they're not looking after the elderly. So I'm one of those who love helping the elderly people. I'm actually anxious at times, but my biggest fear is what's going to happen when we hit the peak. What will happen to our country? What will happen to our families, our brothers and our sisters? It's just scary, but um, we'll take it as it comes. As a person um, helping in our country, I feel excited and then motivated. At least I'm doing something to our country. My message to all the South Africans will be, people must just comply with um, what uh, we've been preaching all along. They must maintain their social distancing, they must, they must wash their hands, they must uh, use the cough etiquette, they must always wear masks, and then if people, they don't have anything to do, they must just stay home. <laughs>